another AFC North game. We got the Bengals versus the Jets. Bengals are currently favored at minus five, and they're taking on uh, the Jets at MetLife over under a 44 and a half. First thing I see here, I like the over here because I think that the Bengals, this is the game that I'm just hoping this happens. They start to get their momentum going and their okay. offense actually starts to move. And the Jets, they're coming off of a big win against the Browns. Garrett Wilson looks like he's ascending. I think the Jets can put up some points with him. And the Bengals, I think this is when their offense starts to click finally, three weeks into the season. Um, I like the Bengals to win this game. The Jets, I just don't see it. I just don't see them. I can't see the Bengals falling to 0-3, but if they do, best believe I will come back with a lot to say. Yeah, we'll both come back with a lot to say because, frankly, the Bengals have to win this game. And when you have someone like Joe Burrow, at quarterback, and Jamar Chase, I think they'll be able to get it done. They realize starting 0-3, even though you are in the AFC North, and I don't think it'll be amazing this year. I don't think 0-3 is the best way to start your year. And I think the Jets are going to have games, you know, where they look really good, and then the next week they'll be really awful. So I think this will be an up-and-down team. Uh, I do think they'll be really competitive in most games, but I feel, feel like Bengals 24-17 to is a good score in this game. Pretty close, but... Joe Burrow finds a way to get it done because you have to win this game. Yeah, I like the Bengals 27-17. I think they'll win this game. Um, their offense starts to click a little bit. Their defense has played pretty well, so I'm, I'll give the, the defense some uh, some benefits. Um, this is the game where they start to things start to click again for a team that's been kind of reeling the last the first two weeks. Um, moving on, we have the Eagles and the Commanders. NFC East matchup. Uh, this is at uh, Washington. Eagles are favorited at six and a half. That tells you anything about how people are feeling about the Eagles these days. Over under a 47. I think this game, I've picked the over here. I think Jalen Hurts is playing out of his mind. AJ Brown and the Commanders, they're looking like they're moving the ball pretty well as well. Carson Wentz also taking on his former team in the Philadelphia Eagles. He's going to want to come back with the vengeance. Um, that six and a half spread, I'm really intrigued by the commanders covering here. So I think this game is going to be pretty close. I do think the Eagles prevail. However, this is a game that the commanders can win. Eagles are coming off a lot of a momentum. And I think this game is going to be a little bit closer than these last two games that they've had. Yeah. All you have to do is look at the schedule because I feel like the Eagles are going to get off to a slow start in this game because you come off that huge moral boost versus the um vikings on monday night and then you have to go sunday to washington at one o'clock i mean that's a pretty fast turnaround so you basically lose the day of practice then you have to have time to watch film so i think they get off to a slow start maybe fall behind by 10 and come back and win this game i think this is going to be a shootout to start the game and then the eagles defense will take um over in the fourth quarter so i'm gonna go eagles um 31 the 25 in this game with a slow start, but they come back and do it just because the schedule turnaround is pretty fast. And sometimes a high like that, you can take an L to your division rival. And I wouldn't be surprised if the commanders won at all. No, not at all. I like the score. You said what? 31 to 25. I'll just say 20, 31 to 27, round it up a little bit. Um, definitely a great game. I'm excited to see how this game plays out. 